Hi, it's Christian, founder at Cloudroom.com. We are the CCI leaders. Today I'm going to talk to you about cybersecurity and cloud. Yes, because there are certain people out there claiming that you can skip CCNA and you can jump straight into cloud and cybersecurity. So the way they present you this message is really attractive. So you don't have to do the work. You can skip everything. And you can just jump directly into cybersecurity and cloud because it's a completely different thing. You don't need CCNA anymore. CCNA is a waste of time. I already made a video about this. So guys, if you trust this message, you are trusting a lie. And can I repeat for you? This is a lie. It's not true. So you need to understand that cybersecurity and cloud require a complete and deep understanding about the network. So these people claim, well, but if you look, for example, the job offers, you'll see that the network engineer is much less in demand compared to 20 years ago. CCNA is a vendor specific certification and all the positions are now cloud and cybersecurity. But these people don't tell you who are cybersecurity engineers and cloud engineers. And you must understand that 80% of cloud engineers or, and cybersecurity engineers are network engineers. That at a certain point move from being network engineers to become cybersecurity engineers and cloud engineers. Because what these people don't tell you, because probably they don't know because they don't have an understanding about what they're talking about, is that at the end of the day, the cloud is nothing but a different way to access the network. So if you think about, yes, once there was only one way, now there are different ways. You can consider different media. There is the internet in between. But if you consider the internet, how can you understand the internet if you don't understand networking? The internet is nothing but a bigger network than the others. And just think about who's managing the internet. Network engineers, <laughs> nobody else. So I understand that when you start to go in a different direction, there are specifics, there are things new, there are more complexity. For example, a cybersecurity engineer like to keep talking about uh, pen tests and this kind of stuff. But again, what you're going to do is you are trying to securing a network and it doesn't matter if this is a physical network or uh, is a virtual network or you access it through the internet. doesn't matter because it's always a network. You just need to understand how the network is built. If you don't have the foundations, you can't understand this. Therefore, you can't be a real cybersecurity engineer, you can't be a cloud engineer. That's why 80% of the engineers who move to um, cloud and cybersecurity come with a networking background and they are already certified. So why they do this? Why they try to convince you that you can skip the networking part? Because they offer you um, an idea of a possible shortcut. There is no shortcut. You need to have the foundations right. I tell you, otherwise your life will become miserable. Either because you won't be hired when you don't have foundations, companies don't hire you. Or even if let's suppose that you can become a cybersecurity engineer or a cloud engineer without understanding the network and I still don't understand how it can be possible. But imagine that you, even if you are hired because someone doesn't perform the uh, hiring process correctly, you'll have a miserable life. You'll have a miserable experience. And at the end, you'll be forced to go back and learning the networking fundamentals. So there is no shortcut here. The path is always the same. And don't trust people. They tell you CCNA is a vendor specific certification because technically they are right because uh, uh, is Cisco, but if you check what is inside CCNA, you'll notice that it's 
exactly what the reality out there is um, asking to learn. So you'll see that you have STP. STP is not vendor related. You have BGP, which is the protocol that runs the internet. If a cybersecurity engineer doesn't know how BGP works, who doesn't know how the internet works? And then there is OSPF and there are new technologies. Um, there is SD-WAN, SD access. You need to know these things. Programmability, Python, you need to know these things. And they are all inside CCNA right now. When you have this overview about everything in CCNA, then what I personally highly recommend, move to CCMP and CCIE. When you are a CCIE enterprise engineer, now you can make your decision. First, you'll see that it's not true that the network engineer is not a position in demand anymore because it's, it's ridiculous. It's true that, that it, there is not only the physical network, there are several variations, but they are all managed by network engineers at the end. So when you are there, you have a huge spectrum of opportunities in front of you and you can choose. You can decide, you can become a service provider engineer, you can become wireless engineer, security engineer, whatever you want inside um, this specific uh, range of positions. Or now that you have this knowledge, you can integrate. When I say integrate, you can think about Linux, for example, how much time a network engineer can take to learn Linux? Really little. But how much time a Linux engineer needs to become a network engineer? Huge amount of time. Why? Because there is no shortcut. You need to have solid foundations first. You need to know the network. When you understand the network, and when I say you have to at least understanding the network, you need to have the CCNA at least. And a CCNA made with a lot of hands-on experience uh, before going to the exam. Now you can look around. When you are CCIE, enterprise, you can make your decision. Want to become a cybersecurity engineer? Absolutely possible and in a short amount of time because you have solid foundation. Now that you understand how the network is built, you understand how to protect the network, you can change the media, you can change um, the way you access the network, you focus on the cloud, and you can make your decision. You say, okay, I, I become a cloud engineer or I become a cybersecurity engineer because I want to focus on the cybersecurity and I want to prevent cyber attacks. When they present you the other way around, just skip it. We are in 2023, so you don't need the, all this process anymore. You can just jump into cybersecurity from day one, they lie. They lie because they understand how painful can be the full process if you don't have the right training. But here we have the right training. So schedule a Zoom session with me right now and we'll transform you in a real network engineer with solid foundation and after you have pure fun learning new technologies like cybersecurity and cloud. Thanks.